guys, you're watching the Ion Network. I'm Michelle Hunter, joined by artist Natasha Drazik. Natasha is making one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Not only is it a life-size statue, but it's a one-and-a-half size statue of nine-time world champion surfer Kelly Slater. Natasha, what inspired you to make this statue? Uh, well, Kelly Slater's from Cocoa Beach, Florida, and I grew up there, and my siblings grew up there, and he's just nine-time world champion, um, and he's a really good person to emulate personally, um, and actually really good uh, physical person to do a sculpture of. So really interesting subject. Yeah, I just touch it and it almost still, still feels like it's wet. What's the next step after the clay is completely finished? Uh, it would be sent to a foundry. They would make a mold on it uh, and then they would cast it in bronze. And this is so intricate work. How long does it take you to put something like this together? Um, I've been working on it for a few months now and I probably have another month of work to do to finish it just right. Uh, before we send it to the foundry. And you said Kelly's mom saw this earlier. What was her opinion? Uh, she saw the model. She saw the model earlier, the small one, and she really liked that one. Um, so I'm trying to capture the, what I got in the small one and the large one. And um, hopefully they like it, and hopefully Kelly likes it. And kids, Kelly Slater is someone you can really inspire to be one day. You said he's a great person. What is it that stands out about him the most to you? Uh, just a tremendous focus athlete um, as a human being I in general a uh, good person this project is so detailed Natasha says it takes her almost a year to finish and that's because of its detail even down to the toenails as you can see Natasha has to sculpt each toenail so that it looks like a real human nail Natasha just describe this process uh, well I use the plastilina it's an oil-based clay um, and I kind of warm it up and it softens and then I um, put the mass where I need to and then uh, smooth it around. And Natasha is a full-time artist but she does this project out of her love for Kelly Slater and her and her brother. It was actually her brother's idea but what do you plan on doing with this once it's finished? Uh, this is going to be cast into bronze. We're going to send it to a foundry um, and cast it in bronze and then it's going to be installed in Cocoa Beach uh, at A1A and uh, North 4th Street where Kelly Slater grew up. So it's a really nice spot in Cocoa Beach. Have you spoken to him? Does he know that you're putting this together? Uh, I haven't. I think he's pretty busy. I haven't spoken to him. Uh, we talked to his mom at the beginning of the project. She saw the small one and she liked it. So um, it's been all positive though. And if people want more information or if they would like to donate, where should they go? It, our website's called the Kelly Slater Project.com. Great. Thank you so much, Natasha. This is an amazing piece of work. Congratulations.